are going on holiday. This is like proper holiday coconut. Stop, I've literally made Rob cheers me three times for the vlog. But this honestly smells like a holiday in a tub. It was just all very too overwhelming. I'm actually, do you know what? I'm actually feeling very, very stressed. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing so, so well. Welcome back to another vlog. We are going on holiday. I am so excited. We're going on a huge family holiday to Cyprus. I was literally just checking the weather. Let me show you. It's giving full sun 30 degrees every single day. And honestly, if you could see what I could see right now, the UK weather is just not doing it for me. It's just not cutting it. Today, it's like showers, thunderstorms. So I'm so excited to get myself in the sun. So first mission of the vlog today is we are going to Kingston. I need to have a good look through the Bental Centre. I need to get a suitcase because basically I always borrow my mum and dad's suitcase, but we're all going away together this time. So all the suitcases are being used. So I need to cave and make that adult purchase of buying a suitcase. I need to get some sun cream. I want to look for a new holiday perfume so big big day of shopping i'm also debuting a brand new bag i picked this up from olivia sales she does all the bottega dupes and i just love this little white one i feel like it's going to go with so many of my holiday outfits but i wanted to use it today because you can actually fit so much stuff in it like i've got an umbrella my phone a hairbrush my airpods a lip liner this is refi rosewood and then of course trusty Laneige and then my camera will fit in here and my keys so really 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 happy with that purchase love it so so much so I have got a little list I'm just thinking do I need anything else so sun cream tanning elixir suitcase question mark I've got far too many clothes I'm getting my nails done on Tuesday I'm not having my hair done because it's actually getting so long and healthy like my hair has never really been in good condition obviously bleaching it is the worst thing you can do but I've stopped the bleaching I've kind of going for like this grown out balayage look like I still am very very blonde but I'm not going to do anything pre-holiday getting my nails done on Tuesday I just want to have a little look around all of the classics boots super drug Zara Primark and just see see what we can find but yeah I'm really really excited welcome back to another vlog please do subscribe if you haven't already it would honestly mean the world to me and of course I'm gonna vlog my holiday going to the airport all the exciting bits we just need to get all the prep done like this is the bit that I find really really stressful and do you know what probably the first 45 minutes of the airport like once I get rid of my case I go through security and you know you can then chill that's when I start to enjoy my holiday like this bit I actually find very very stressful and I think I think me and my sister are sharing a suitcase so I need to be very careful about what I'm packing because I do not want an overweight baggage payment heading my way um but let's get going I'm not going to vlog while I'm driving because again you know this car honestly do you know what? I don't want to speak badly of her because I, I'm like literally touching anything like I'm so superstitious I don't want to talk badly of her because she's my first car I love her so much and we honestly have been through it together but she's got a bit of an issue with the clutch and I'm very very anxious driving her at the moment and I feel really on edge and I think we've got a slight flat tire down there so i just need to be all you know very very alert this will be me in a few days rolling through catholic airport we're just in primark this one is 45 pounds i've got some other ones but i think she is just the cutest i think she just is the vibe she's the moment but there's only one more of these and this is like primark's my first stop so i don't really want to wheel her around kingston so i'm just hoping nobody nabs her so these are really the only other option i mean as unesthetic as it looks i could literally pick it up and swing that over my head like that is so so light that's 50 45 she's even got a little matching one that is so cute just the little set we've got loads of little ones but these three are the only big ones i am never ever ever coming to kingston on a saturday ever again um also when i was showing you everything that's in my handbag i forgot to put my brenner back in so this is currently how we're walking around so i've left the bental center because i wanted to go to space nk i've come to space nk it's closed it's moved to inside the bental center so i'm now stood here getting absolutely drenched and i didn't even have to so that was possibly the worst start to holiday prep i could possibly imagine the only thing i've left with is a shake away obviously i've gone for a ben which is 
dime and biscoff sauce it is delicious but it was just so crazy busy and it was raining so it was just really really chaotic let me bring you in the car actually so yeah very very unfortunate obviously i left this stupid brolly in the car the queues were just really long and really exciting a new space nk and bershka has opened up in the bental center I went into Bershka and they were like, no drinks. So I was like, okay, straight back out again. And in Space NK, like four people asked me if I was okay, if I needed any help, which is so, so nice. But obviously I was wanting to vlog a few bits for you all. And it was just all very too overwhelming. I'm actually, do you know what? I'm actually feeling very, very stressed. I'm feeling very, very stressed. I'm not really enjoying it. I didn't get anything on my list. Everything's so outstanding. I think I'm just gonna leave a suitcase and ask Rob if I can borrow his because I thought, why am I gonna spend 50 quid on a suitcase? I'd rather spend like 50 quid in Space NK or Sephora, etc. So I had to open up my shake away because my straw had gone all soggy and there are literally wrappers of the chocolate bar in my milkshake, which I just can't even today. It's really, really testing me. Let, I, I don't know, can you see? Look, oh my God, you can see. And I've literally drunk it all. I stopped off in Tesco's on my way home and managed to tick a few things off my list. Tesco's came to my rescue, honestly. What a disaster today has been, but I picked up two bottles of sun cream. I went for a 30 and a 15. I thought I'll start with the 30, drop down to the 15. And oh my God, this one is open. Okay. But that smells incredible. My nan used to buy this. I'm not sure how you pronounce this brand. Pizbuen or something. But my nan used to absolutely smother us in this. So this just smells of my childhood. So picked two bottles of that up. And then I went for a Hawaiian Tropics after some body butter. This honestly smells like holiday in a tub this is incredible if you are in like tesco's boot super drug and you see this you have to give that a smell it's honestly so delicious so not a big fat fail today managed to get a few bits tick a few things off my list i actually went shopping a few days ago and that trip was definitely a lot more successful than this one so i thought i'd show you a few things that i picked up starting with of course primark their swim stuff this year has been incredible. So I picked up this really cute pink Hunza G dupe. Like this honestly is so, so cute. It's got a nice little low back. It's super cute, ribbed, love the pink color. Again, I feel like my camera doesn't really pick these things up very well, but this was only 10 pounds. I had to pick it up in an extra small. It is a little bit snug, but I do quite like it. I feel like it all holds me in. I think we're going to have like one day of like water sports kind of vibes. So I thought I'd bring a little swimming costume with me just in case, you know, I don't want anything flying out. And then I stocked up on bikinis. Very, very neutral vibes. The dress that I'm wearing to the wedding is off the shoulder. So I wanted to make sure that I didn't have any tan lines. And I saw this little top and then obviously the matching bottoms thought that was really cute but then i saw they just had like a classic triangle top and when i tried this on last night i think i preferred the triangle top rob said he prefers the triangle top but i think i'm going to bring both anyway and just see how i feel the triangle top was seven pounds i picked that up in a small the bandu top was seven pound picked that up in a small and then the bottoms i always size up so i picked those up in a medium and they were five pounds so really really happy with those i have got another off the shoulder boob tube bikini from primark that i got last year actually so if i don't end up wearing that i'll just wear the blue one the day before the wedding hopefully like even out on my tan lines and then i picked up again just a really simple little triangle bikini this one is like a gorgeous ribbed creamy color so again the top was in a small the mediums are in a bottom what, that didn't even make sense the bottoms are in a medium they were four pounds so a little bit cheaper i honestly love primark swimwear like i've actually got a few bits from last year i'll quickly show you these aren't on the hanger because obviously i got them last year but how cute is that a little blue not bikini and then the matching bottoms i do prefer usually like a tie side bottom but these are really cute and then god i'm getting all tangled up here just like a pink 
little triangle bikini and the matching tie up bottoms so i am a huge primark bikini swimwear advocate so now i have got a bikini for every day i don't know if anyone else does this but me mom, and my sister we always have to have like a new bikini every day so seven bikinis or six bikinis and a swimsuit and then i just had a little box delivered from selfridges i made a little order because i wanted some of the new refi brushes Oh, it comes in a cute little bag. Yeah, so I usually order things like this off of Sephora, look fantastic, Space NK, but they were all out of stock, so I had to do a little Selfridges order, which is quite cute. This will be really nice, actually, to put like, my little earrings in, little jewellery bits, and keep them all safe, so I'll definitely keep that. So these are the two brushes that I picked up. This one I have definitely had before. I love this side for like foundation or tinted moisturisers, and then this side is really good for cream blushes. And then this is a new one it's a lot smaller thinner skinnier than this one this one's like a nice chunky solid brush um but i'm excited to give this one a go i think this end would be really nice for concealer and then this for like bronzers powders blushes etc and then i picked up two new books now i'm not sure how much reading i'm going to get done on this holiday and i haven't even finished the first book to this series i took that with me to australia and didn't read it at all i actually think i read oh look it's here so this is how much i've read so i've still got all of this to read and then i'm not sure which one's next and then twisted games which is this one and then twisted hate which is this one but i nipped into the works because i get all my books from the works all my colleen hoover books because they're so so much cheaper like these were all six pounds which is absolute bargain because on the back it says yeah 9.99 9.99 9.99 so technically i've got one of these books for free there was just a really lovely guy in there and he was a little bit older and he was just like giving me all these recommendations and at one point i'm not even joking i had about 10 books stacked up in my hands and i felt like i then couldn't not buy any i literally just went in just to have a browse and see if there was anything new like they always have the new Colleen Hoover books in there and really that's what I was going for but I just thought I'd stock up on the series just because I felt really bad for him and he spent a lot of time with me and I felt like I had to buy something because I felt really bad yeah that is everything that I picked up all these earrings as well I picked up from Primark they're like the Bottega dupes now I did get a Bottega dupe from Primark but they were absolutely huge whereas these are really cute and tiny so this was the last pack I was actually missing these two so I don't know which earrings were here and then you've got these really cute cute like Bottega dupe ones and then these ones which I'm not really 100% on I feel like they're a little bit too like skinny for my likings good evening everyone it is actually the next day and I've just popped to the power station because I actually have a few little Zara turns to drop off and I thought there's no harm in having a little look in Zara I can't be any worse than what Kingston had to offer but I'm actually not feeling 100% today god we went out last night to watch england's first match in the euros and i didn't even have that much to drink but we ate these or i ordered these loaded fries and i honestly think i've got a little bit of food poisoning so i'm feeling a little bit dizzy a little bit sick so i'm not really sure what this trip's going to entail but yeah i just thought i may as well drop these bits off before i go away see if they've got any like last minute bits because i've got two days i've worked from home today which has been so nice but I just wanted to get out and have a little bit of a mooch around, a little bit of a walk. Um, and then I'm back in the office tomorrow and then we go, which is absolutely crazy. So, so excited. But yeah, going to have a little look around, yeah, see what's new yeah, in. Yeah. And fingers crossed, I'm actually one evening outfit down. This is honestly so much more successful than our trip to Kingston the other day. Like, this is why I just always come to Battersea Power Station because you always find some absolute gems. So I've got this little dress on, which is really cute. Let me show you. Absolutely love like that this looks like a little bit of a bow and it's got a tie back and it's really nice and like roughly is very very short i'm just not sure what the thought process was behind like this area because from the waist up and then from this bit down it's a super cute dress so much potential but yeah this is really putting me off which is such a shame because it's a gorgeous color it's got adjustable straps and so many cute details but unfortunately it's a no. Maybe I spoke a little bit too soon about this being a successful trip because I've already tried this dress on actually. I tried this on in my last like Come Shopping Me to Zara vlog and I picked it up in a small and I absolutely loved it and I just wanted to come today and try it on in an extra small just because I felt like there was a little bit of bagging around here but I picked one up with a broken zip so it doesn't even do up but I do think the extra small does fit nicer like I'm just kind of holding it together at the back and it gives me so much more shape 
So I'm definitely going to see if they've got another one on the shop floor and see if I can exchange it because it is such, such a lovely dress. And like this, this I think would be like my final last evening outfit. Even with my hair like how I have it today or in a little twisty barn, my gold earrings. This will look so, so cute. This is a really cute little mini bag. It's perfect for little holiday. We've got loads of slides. These are really cute actually. I absolutely love Sun de Janeiro. It's just such a summery smell. This one's my favourite, number 68. So nice. I also love number 62 as well. This is like proper holiday coconut. Although it says pistachio and salted caramel, I don't really get that vibe. <coughs> Got a bit too much there. And this is like a brand new Boots Beauty that's just been opened. But I feel like I can get things cheaper on Look Fantastic, especially like this. Like Molly May has got like an amazing code which is like 22% off. And the smaller ones, which I normally get, are £24. And these big ones are £38. So 22% off is actually quite a deal. But so Audition Hero is just such a holiday brand for me. Like even that smell just brings back so many holiday mems. They have got loads of other perfumes, but these two, this one number 68 and number 62 are my favourites. I mean, they've got this one, which is vanillary, which I normally quite like. Mm, it's nice, it's not my fave. Oh, and my mum actually bought me this once. This I got this as part of a set, so that one's actually quite nice. But yeah, this one I'm just not a massive fan of. But it's so lovely in here. Obviously, it's like a brand new store, so they're fully stocked. I've got loads of the Drunk Elephant, bronzy drops. So that was actually a very successful trip. I managed to exchange that dress, got it in an extra small, fits so much better. So really happy about that. And that's gonna be like my final evening outfit. Obviously like I am only going on holiday with my family. So it's pretty casual, but that's what I managed to get in Zara. I mean, the bag looks so dramatic. It was the only one they had. I'm now just walking over to King's Road. You know, this is like my favorite little route to walk from the power station to King's Road. It's like about half an hour walk, but it gets my steps in. I get there, I think I might treat myself to a noops. And then I'll just head home. But it's honestly the most lovely evening in London tonight. Like all the run clubs are out, like everyone's running. When the weather's like this, I love living in London. Like there's nowhere else I'd rather be. It's just like the other 364 days of the year where it's pouring down rain. Is it even a Chloe Whip vlog if I don't treat myself to something sweet after an evening of shopping? This is literally my idea of heaven. Little noops, 34%, you know the drill. Oh, that is so good. You know what, there's not much that comes close to this. I'm actually going to close the vlog off for this evening because I'm literally just about to go home, catch up on Love Island, so I've got a few episodes to catch up on. But it is so juicy this year, I'm literally living for it. So I'm gonna make myself a little Caesar salad when I get in, catch up on Love Island, um, so I will see you in the morning. Good morning everybody, it is the next day and I have woken up this morning and decided that I hate every single one of my outfits. So I am feeling very stressed, we're on the two day countdown now, so today is the last day that I can order things, next day delivery. I have done a huge ASOS order, I've ordered this little bag here, I felt like I needed just like a sand, oh, a sand beige, like beigey bag because a lot of them are quite light i needed something a bit different and then i've ordered this black and white maxi skirt from fourth and reckless i thought i would just why is that not focusing wear this with a little black like t-shirt crop top for the evening and then i've also ordered this which i absolutely love again from fourth and reckless and then this little cord why is none of it focusing oh here we go so I've got up this morning, laid out everything I'm taking on the bed. Because I feel like when you stop putting things into the suitcase, you can't really see very well. You forget what you've packed. So I kind of lay everything out, like all my bags, shoes, clothes, like day outfits, night outfits, bikinis, jewellery, sunglasses. So I've laid that all out on the bed. I've got new bits coming tomorrow. I'm at home today. I'm in the office tomorrow. So if there is anything that I'm missing, then I can grab it tomorrow. But yeah, it's coming around very, very quick. And I'm getting very, very stressed. I'm having a little bit of brekkie. This is honestly my new favourite, the honey flavour. 
my absolute favourite. Right, so I'm going to show you everything I've kind of got laid out. So I'm going to start off with my little toiletries bag. Now this is a little bit difficult because obviously we still do have two days here, so I can't pack shampoos and conditioners and that yet, but I picked up a little bottle of Sanex. This is fragrance free, so good for my eczema. Any other eczema girlies, you know Sanex fragrance free is the place to be. And then flannels, hair clips, another flannel. I always take one of these little bags because I always find that I've got a wet flannel to take home. I can just put it in this little bag on the way home so I can get all my stuff wet. Antihistamines, if you are in the UK right now and suffer with hay fever, I literally cannot go without one of these a day. Toothpaste, razor, just some ibuprofen. These Nurofen Express, like these red capsules are my favourite ones. Little lip oil, face masks, and again, another little clip my sun cream and my after sun and then here are my day bits so i've just got a pair of like denim shorts i thought for the day i'll just wear a bikini and my little denim shorts these ones are levi's yeah and then just like some little dresses got this pink little skirt little bodycon polo green dress and then just this tiered dress that honestly is not ugly it's so cute i just know my mum hates it but it's so good for a holiday just chuck that on over what you're wearing and then here are my night bits so this is the t-shirt that i think i'm gonna wear with that fourth and reckless skirt it's just like a little zara their slinky t-shirt which is cute God, I've literally folded these up really badly. This little dress, it's got like a little bow, bodycon, like mini dress. And then, God, I've literally worn all of these on holiday before. I think this is why I'm kind of like hating all my outfits. So I've not got like loads of new stuff. This is like a long little strappy dress, which is nice. This I tried on in my last Sarah haul. This one I literally wore, I wear this every year, nice little Zara tie up, shirt, mini kind of dress. This Bershka bodycon dress, just like that, it's like a really nice comfy one actually. This one again is Zara, this is a few years old, but I think that's really nice. This is what I'm going to wear on the wedding day. This is from caramella uk is it called caramella uk or i just made that up it's definitely from caramella some little like bridget jones sucky knickers and then this is actually new and it is just like a plain black little dress from zara of course it's got all makeup on it but this is quite a nice just casual dinner black's always quite nice on holiday actually so they're all my night outfits then over to my bikinis i have shown you all of these so i won't go through them but i've got five bikinis and a swimming costume these are all my bags and shoes so these are the shoes i'm planning to wear for the wedding this little bag from zara oh my goodness is literally the best thing i've purchased for this holiday i'm literally obsessed my olivia sales bottega dupe my havianas i've got just a black and a goldy pair and then two pairs of sliders for the evening this pair's from primark this is from zara and then i've just got all my jewelry and sunglasses laid out i'm gonna take my little pradas do you know what though if i could go back in time i probably would get the black ones of these just because i don't know the white i feel like rob always says i look like kanye west i do have the dupe of the black so I do have a black pair but obviously they're a dupe and then my little Primark because you can really see my eyes through these I do look a bit like one of the three blind mice um, but I've got these and then jewellery wise I'm keeping it super simple I'm going to take these ones these are Primark I've also got like a bigger version these are also Primark my little abbott lion oh great it's all tangled up i'm probably gonna put this on actually i just took it off my eczema my little chloe necklace and then i got this from a little shop in brighton it's just like a big chunky c and then obviously my sunglasses case to put them all in and then you're probably gonna really laugh at me but i'm actually gonna take some gym stuff so i've got a pair of leggings and then one two i don't need three sports bras so one of them is probably gonna have to go and then i'm packing my little skims unitard this is always a really nice coming home outfit or even if i fancy like a little walk down the beach or a getting ready outfit it's just good i love bringing that with me and then so far i've got one pair of pajamas so i'm gonna add two more i need to add like knickers and socks but otherwise it's all kind of coming together i just need to put everything in the case now i literally just ran through all of that in one breath i do feel like i'm about to have a heart attack but yeah that is everything that i'm taking with me or actually it's not and, and this is what's quite horrifying is that me and my sister are sharing a suitcase so 
I'm gonna take all of that. She's gonna have exactly the same amount of clothes, if not more. And that doesn't include like my hair dryer, straighteners, hair products, makeup, you know, all the essentials. So wish us luck. We definitely have an overweight baggage claim payment heading our way. I've booked in to have my nails done in half an hour. I'm just gonna go for, again, just a classic French tip. I feel like I always do that. Really super boring, but I'm just a French tip girly, it can't help it. I wish I would do like, experiment with the tip and maybe do like a bright color. I don't know, I just think this is me. So I'm gonna do that. Then I've got to take the suitcase over to my mum's with all my clothes in it so my sister can put her stuff in it. And then me and Rob are gonna go to the gym. This Good is morning, everyone. It's a new day. I do feel like this vlog is extremely chaotic. I feel like every new clip is a new day, but it is the next day now. I'm in the office today. So I'm really lucky that I actually only work like 10 minutes walk from Oxford Street. I've got a few Zara returns and something to return to Primark. I wanna have a little look through Zara as well and Primark actually, see if there's anything that I've missed. But obviously we are in London, it's super loud and busy. So I'm gonna cut the camera here and yeah, we we'll pick you back up in Zara Primark. God, this is like the real chaos of London life. Like honestly, sirens, busy, busy. Oh, we're crossing the road. The swim section has been so good this year. I love that little bikini with the little shells. I mean, if I didn't already have about 10 million bikinis, then I would get that one because it's super cute. This is so cute. Little khaki tie side bikini. It's a little bit more green in real life, actually, but it's so cute. We've got quite a lot of green bits here today actually my sister's got this this looks really nice on lots of cream bits like this is my kind of bikini very neutral this is the bikini that i bought the other day and they've also got like a swimming costume version if that's something that you'd prefer so cute i love the color i just think with this oh i can't hook it back up this with a tan it's just gonna look so cute i absolutely love this color this will honestly come as no surprise to most of you but we're now in the summer change rooms and of course i've got something to try on for you all so this is like a little leopard print midaxi dress i've seen loads of girls actually wear this on instagram and it's one of those dresses that just looks incredible on everyone it's just so flattering it's very very different for me i'm just not sure if the leopard print is really my vibe. I'm much more of like a neutrals or like a baby pink, baby blue, denim. So I think I might leave this, but I'm glad I tried it on because I've had it saved for ages. And I think if I didn't try it on, I always would have thought, what if? But it is a lovely shape. This is a size small and it's super stretchy. Like you could definitely size down. This is like a little bit risky. This is very loose. I'm gonna leave this, but I obviously went into Primark and picked up a few bits. Um, I just needed a hairbrush for the office. I forgot to bring mine today. And this was only 90p, so I was like, I'll grab that. And then I just got a pack of hair bands. These little clips, because I always use these to clip my rollers up. Then I got myself some new rollers. I'm not sure about the purple vibe. Usually, like, my rollers from Primark are black, but really needed a new pair of those. And then, like, I got quite a few pairs of white dresses, so just, like, some white little nicks. And then these little sets are my absolute favorite so picked up a new one of those i always size up in like my underwear just for extra comfort and then last but not least these little gold earrings you know that i love like a gold statement earring and as i said i've got a lot of white dresses so i think these will be super cute and these were two pound fifty so it's a little bit later on now me and rob have met up for dinner at the power station we've of course come to our favorites nando's i don't even know why i bother looking at the menu anymore because i literally ordered the same thing i'm going to go for a chicken wrap no lettuce, halloumi, peri salted chips, peri nays, a little fanta, and I think we're gonna treat ourselves to halloumi sticks and dip because this is actually our last dinner together for a week. Rob isn't coming away with us, it's just me and my family, so I'm gonna miss him so much. But yeah, we're treating ourselves to a nice little dinner out. I actually just went to Boots and I picked up a little 68 Sol de Janeiro and then the Drum Elephant Bronzy Drop. So really excited to try them. I obviously was gonna order them on Look Fantastic, but I just ran out of time. You normally go for boneless chicken thighs, don't you? We kind of are creatures of habit, but are you gonna miss me? He's nodding. Aww, it's so sad, but I'm excited. We're gonna have a fun night. We're gonna get a Nando's, go home, watch Love Island. I actually wouldn't mind a little venti, a little ice cream stop on the way. And Rob has driven, which is so nice. We don't have to get the tube home. So what an absolute dream. I'm actually not joking when I say that I think this would be my death row meal. Like this to me is just heaven on a plate. 
Look how empty it is in here. It's so nice. Like everything in the power station is just brand new. That's why I absolutely love it here. But yeah, just about to tuck in. Absolutely like, look at that. Delicious. Stop, I've literally made Rob cheers me three times for the vlog, but I've gone for hazelnut and chocolate and Rob just went for hazelnut. Just having a little mooch round now. They've got like a nice little Aperol spritz pop up. Oh my God, guys. I literally feel like I'm about to throw up. So Rob has started driving this new electric company car and he dropped me to my car because I parked at the station. So he drove from Battersea to the station to drop me to my car. And I just feel like I'm like this the whole way. And I don't know whether it's because like he's never driven an automatic before and he's kind of getting the hang of it. But it makes me feel so, so unwell. And I've just had to enjoy that for half an hour. It was quite hellish. I think I'm kind of all ready. I do have to put like a little carry-on suitcase together because I'm going to just take an extra carry-on with like hair stuff, like my hair dryer, straighteners, like a few little loose bits. And then I'm ready to go. We're flying tomorrow at 3 p.m. So... I've also got the whole morning, which is so nice, but I actually feel so knackered today. This makeup has been on. What is the time? So it's 8.30 p.m. and I left the house this morning at 8.30 a.m. This makeup has been on way too long. I want to get home, take it off, get in the shower, get into bed and watch an episode of Love Island. Like, honestly, it's the highlight of my night. It's the highlight of my day, actually. But I'm going to bring this vlog to a close. I really do appreciate all of you that have made it to the end. I feel like this has been one of my most chaotic vlogs. I just find this pre-holiday week extremely stressful i mean i can't be the only one surely and then also trying to vlog like i just feel like it's come across very scatty but thank you for sticking around if you made it to the end it means the absolute world to me i love you all millions and i'll see you next week bye